coffee last night. We get coffee first thing this morning. Yes, it's 6.45 in the morning and we've stopped here in the dark just outside of Valentine, Texas. Uh, this is called Prada Marfa. Turn your headlamp on, maybe we can see the awnings. Uh, Prada Marfa. Some, it was a German couple? Yeah. Built this stucco building it's here in the middle of nowhere uh, with Prada wear. <laughs> Like a stuff official inside. Prada stuff. With the actual logo, they got permission. <laughs> that's hilarious. Like an art project. Uh huh. And that's all it is. Welcome to New Mexico. Here we go. Welcome to New Mexico. We're officially uh, out of staters now. Yep. We got out of state license plates. Get a little rain, possibly a little slush. We're just approaching Arizona in a couple miles. We found Bailey a park in Wilcox, Arizona. Playground over there. Picnic tables. Hey kids, let's go to play at the park. We are at a Harvest Host location tonight. Uh, did not do a lot of filming today. It was just a ton of driving. 408 miles? I'll, I'll put the number in here. 400 and something miles. 408 miles, I think. Uh, we went from Marfa, Texas to we're in Wilcox, Arizona right now. We were planning on staying in Deming, um, New Mexico at an escapees RV park there to do uh, some laundry, get a shower, and to plug in for the night because it's going to be really cold. But when we got there, uh, we got there early because we left so early. Uh, we didn't know the office didn't open until 2, so we had three hours to wait before the office opened. And Sherry kind of did a little walk around and she saw a sign inside that said, uh, there's been a gas leak, the gas is shut off, sorry for the inconvenience. We thought that might mean no, no uh, shower and laundry, no hot water or something. So. We determined the best thing for us to do was to not hang around for three hours and wait for them to open their office and say, you know, do you have hot water? We said, we'll just continue on. We wound up here at the Cattle Rest Saloon. It's the Cattle Rest Bar and Saloon. Uh, they've got an RV park in the back here where we can, for an additional fee, even though it is a harvest host, we could free park out in the front boondocking. Um, but for an additional fee, we can come back here and plug in. So that's what we've done. We're plugged in there. We're going to fill up our water here in just a little bit um, and, and take care of all that. And I'm glad we did because the gal from the Deming, New Mexico Escapees Park called us. We'd left a message uh, before we left and said, you know, it's hoping they might call us back while we were there and they didn't. So they called us back when we got here and yeah, they're, they're, they have no water. They had a water leak yesterday and a gas leak today. So they have no water. They have no way to heat the water, even if they did have water. So it's just been a big mess there for them. But we're gonna settle in for the night. They've got a bathhouse uh, here. That's where I'm we're pointing, a uh, bathhouse right here. Uh, really nice showers available. That is available to Harvest Host boondockers as well. You don't have to pay for a spot to access that. And we're gonna get a, a shower in. I think that might be it for the night. We'll 
we'll see if we need to do anything else but that's been our day again not a lot of videoing just a lot of driving uh, went through some rain El Paso was a breeze uh, early morning that's another reason why we left early was to get through El Paso before the traffic uh, that was a breeze to get through there um, and yeah it's gonna be in the low 20s tonight so plugging in with the heater Ooh, it's a frosty cold morning here in Wilcox we slept great that heater is amazing wanted to get out here and show you the sunrise another boondocker showed up harvest host member look there's ice on the puddle it was 27 when we woke up this morning outside it was 64 inside the van some shopping here in Benson. We got gas. We hit the park for Bailey. We went to Safeway. We're in Walmart now getting a few extra things. We're looking for chili. Found the chili. Got that one? Alright, select a size for the There is nothing harder than paper towel or toilet paper math. We, uh, toilet paper, yeah. that, that toilet paper math is the hardest. That's we've determined that. We bought a uh, small pork tenderloin at Safeway. We're gonna cook it in our cooker along with a sweet potato as we drive down the road. I think we're gonna spend the night at uh, Gunsight Wash. That is where is that? That's a little north of Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument, and. Uh, it's about a two-ish, two and a half hour drive from here. So we're gonna get everything ready to get in that cooker and uh, plug it in and let, let dinner cook while we drive down the road. Yes. It's the way to go. We got a little garlic powder, little onion powder, onion powder, a little pepper. We're gonna throw a little salt in there too. Go ahead and rub that all in. All right, there's our package of yum pork tenderloin all seasoned. We've got the potato in here on this side. We have a two and a half hour drive. We're gonna wait before we put this in the cooker. It doesn't take very long. Yeah, no. It'll probably take about an hour and a half to cook, so. Yeah, the last time we did this, we uh, we had to go in the whole time we were driving and it was like done quick. Too much. Yeah, so we're gonna wait. We're gonna stop in an hour and uh, put in the cooker then. So we'll stick this in the fridge for now. Get in a bath. Woo! Finally, how many miles has it been? Thousands uh, and thousands. Ten thousand. Ten thousand since his last bath. Ten since the last bath. All right, gotta keep moving. The hoses aren't long enough to reach all the way around the van. Uh, the brush isn't anyway, so I'm gonna have to turn around and uh, put the back end here. So we're gonna we're gonna spin around. I gotta get the, the back half of the van and the and the end. We got it turned around. Look, there's another van right next to us. South side of Tucson. In three quarters of a mile, take exit 99 on the right to Arizona 86 West, then keep right. Alright, there's our stuff in the cooker, our pork and our sweet potato. We're gonna do that. Should be okay, I think, huh? I think so. Alright, shut it. Do the thing. Uh, we're gonna plug this in up front. Sherry's gonna keep it at her feet. We've got about an hour and a half till we get to our BLM camp spot for the night. So we'll be smelling it in probably 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> we'll start to go, man, that smells good.
got to our campsite, which is absolutely beautiful. BLM land here in southern Arizona. And uh, we moved this from the front seat over here while we just kind of got ourselves set up. It's been cooking for, what did I say, two and a half hours? Is that right? Two. About two almost two I, and a half. I don't know what time it is. I think it's five o'clock, so two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to open it up and see what we've done. Yeah, see if it's done. I'm going to set it on the thing in the sink. We're just going to open that up. Be careful. Try not to steam this oh. oh my goodness. Hear it? Yeah. Okay, let's get it out of the bag onto a plate. Pork got a lot smaller. It did get smaller. Let me see the. Oh wow, the potato potatoes it's done. done. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, thing is like so efficient. There's right? gonna be mashed potatoes yeah. here for dinner. All right, let's let's pull it out of the bag and we'll we'll see what we got. All right, I don't know how we're gonna get the potato out. It's softer than anything. Is that it? Oh, nicely done. Careful. Okay, let's lift it up. Perfect. Good. Yep. Oh, wow. Well, that just, that I is think done. It's done. That is done. That is done. Wow. Okay. That was a delay. There we go. Yep. Slight little cleanup, but wow. That's okay. Oh, yeah. It's done. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's, man. Woo. Okay. That's dinner, folks. Mm -mm. Here's a quick video of the sun setting just outside our door. Oh, what a great, great night. Wow. Bailey, what'd you have for dinner? Did you have a little bit of the pork? <laughs> Did you have a little bit of extra pork? Which was done perfectly, by oh, the way. Oh my goodness. You did a good job, huh? That was delicious. She seems to be liking it. Well, good morning from our spot here in Gunsight Wash in Southern Arizona, just outside of Oregon Pipe National Monument. The noise you're hearing is the highway. Apparently first thing this morning, there's a bunch of trucks. I don't know if you can see them out there, but there's a lot of them. Uh, it was very peaceful overnight. I walked out of the van this morning. We got like sky riders. What's going on in the sky today? They're doing all kinds of different. Hey, Bailey's in a good mood. She found a stick. Let's see, let's play with this stick. Ready? I'm making all kinds of swirly whoop de doo things in the sky this morning. That's crazy. Anyway, we've got big things going on today. Uh, besides playing with and exercising the dog. <laughs> Careful, you got a stick in your mouth. Uh, we are going to give ourselves haircuts. That's on the list of things to do today, isn't it? It is, huh? Because we desperately need haircuts. Oh, dear God. Oh, sorry. It's been way too long. So we're gonna do desert haircuts and then we're gonna go into the town of Ajo and uh, get showers after the haircuts and find some laundry facilities and the library there I guess has really good Wi-Fi but the place we're gonna get showers also has Wi-Fi and laundry maybe we do all one-stop shop we'll see but that's those are our big things we're doing today we're ready and set for haircuts desert style welcome to our salon got all our things we've got a double stack of uh what do you call those milk crates? It's milk per crates. perfect height for sitting. Yep. Uh, we're doing the, we got our, our aprons are in here. So we're ready to roll. Okay, here's Sherry's before. We are in desperate need of haircuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, there's Sherry after. A lot more. Yay. Oh, we're Clean cleaned up. up. I'm going super short. No, nope. of course it's you know it's a mess because we haven't showered yet or anything. But yeah. there it is. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. My turn. Okay, here's my victim. Yep. This, this is the before. This is long. Long hair. We're not gonna go super short. No. Nope. No, we're we're in the because we're in the desert now. We can cut our hair more frequently. Uh, so 
we'll get it however it goes. All right, I'm venturing into the land of the Calyx. <laughs> okay, well, we did not start the time lapse for Chris. Oh well, but that's okay. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, we get to use our mirrors. This is fantastic. I know, so we have great mirrors. Yeah, and then the little mirror, I get to see it in the back. Yeah, this works great. You can spin her around, you know, like this and so on. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So there we go. There, there it is. Can you see it? Is it? There. It's a little bit different. Thanks, Sherry. Good job. We're coming into Ajo. Get our chores done, take a shower, do laundry, look for internet. Elevation 1740, established 1854. Ooh, all kinds of murals going on. square and then there's businesses all around it. Sign that says good coffee off to the right. Coffee, I think the post office is in there, all kinds of things. Billy Acres. Billy Acres RV Park. Uh, they've got two shower stalls here. Uh, four quarters for a 10 minute shower. So Sherry's gonna go jump on in first, uh, then I'll jump in when she's done. You yeah, know, you get a whole little private room. Looks like a decent shower head. Luckily there was a dude here when we showed up, he said, uh, he said, if you're going to shower, I would use this one and not that one. That one's a trickle. It's got a better shower head. So we're working on this one. So Sherry will run in and then I'll run in when she's done. It's awesome to get a heads up on that. Yeah, totally. Okay, bye. Bye. Happy, happy shower. Well, we got our showers done. <laughs> we're clean. <laughs> we are. Um, Three-star review. Would yeah, you agree? I would agree. So one, one star because it, it's here and available. Uh, open to the public. Well, that's one star is because it's here. Two stars is because even though it is a RV park, they allow public to come in. So two, because it's open to public. Okay. Uh, and the third star, it only costs a dollar for each. So two dollars. I didn't run out of water. I actually had to shut it off. I'm I like, I, I don't know if it's going to shut off or not. So it's I like finally a, shut it off. A dollar for 10 minutes. And um, it 10 was minutes warm. is a long time. It was warm-ish, I should say. Warm-ish. It was warm-ish. It's okay. We got all of the little hairs off of us from cutting our hair. So. Yep, it was perfect, just quickie in there. We actually oh, could have yeah. both just gone in and just rinsed our We totally could have gone. Heads in 10 did, you have to sh did your shut off? No, I shut, I shut it off. We I, both could have gone yeah. in there for a dollar. We could have, easy, very easily. <laughs> in fact, I think there's another van that pulled up. I think that's what they're doing. I'm going to go to the library. We're not going to do laundry here. We're going to let Sherry take the van and the dog and go to the laundromat down the road. She'll drop me off at the library. Uh, I, I will upload a bunch of videos. I'm having some issues on my phone. I can't clear the memory on my phone enough to allow me to take a video off of my editing program to put it on the phone so that I can upload it. I'm having some big issues. I'm really frustrated. So I'm going to try and resolve that today uh, while Sherry's doing laundry. Okay, got it all done. Let's see if I did it right. Yep, it's moving. All right, gonna take two loads. Let's go load another one. Hold it. 